Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning everyone. Okay, today we are going to continue uh, flip property that we have learned yesterday. Alright, do you still remember what are those that we learn about the flip property, the basic term? The density, the specific weight, okay, the gamma, specific volume, as well as specific gravity. Okay, so now we are going to practice one example. We're going to do together. Okay, let me share the screen again. Okay, everyone. Can you see my screen now? Oh, nice roll. Let me check first. Okay. Let me share the screen again. Are you able to see the screen? Okay, wait for a while. Eh? I think my internet. Eh? My internet problem. Okay, wait, wait, yeah, guys. Okay. All right. I believe now you can see eh, my screen. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you for your confirmation. Okay. Uh, yesterday, we have learned about the specific volume, specific gravity, as well as uh, we have done uh, some we have done a quiz, right? So for today, uh, we're going to, uh, okay, what we're going to have an uh, example pertaining to what we have learned yesterday, okay, on the basic of flip property. 
Okay, please read first and understand. Specific weight, which is we call a gamma, at ordinary pressure and temperature is 62.4. This is for water. Okay, so the first part, when you do this question, please list out what the information given. Alright, for my case, the information is gamma. Gamma of what? Gamma of water. Alright, gamma of water. So you can you can have the symbol only equal to 62.4 pound per feet cube. Okay, this is unit of what? Remember, we have two unit system. Anyone still remember? What is the unit for this? Imperial, correct. Or another, syn uh, the synonym of imperial, another one? English, perfect. Ah, Jeremy, bagus lah. You are good, okay? Okay, Nura Alia, good. English. So this is English. So that means we need to give the our answers in terms of English. And then the specific gravity. Okay, we list out SG of mercury equal to 13.56. Specific gravity, no unit at all. So don't have to put any unit, all right? So the, answer, the question asks density of water, specific weight and density of mercury. So now we have two uh, property, all right? We have water and mercury. So the first step, what we need to do is this is the given. Okay, after we have known uh, the given one, we can start, right? We can start formulate the equation. So let's say this is step one. Okay, step number two, we formulate the equation. So what's the equation we use in order to get the density of water? Density of water from where? From gamma. Gamma of water equal to rho of water multiplied with gravity. Thus, we can change this as a rho of water equal to gamma of water over gravity. Okay. So, okay. So, gamma of water. What is the gamma of water? Which is 62.4. Lb per feet cube over the gravity. What is the value of gravity? Hmm. Class, what's the value of gravity? 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, good. That is the unit of what? That is the system of what? Oh, right. That's meters per second. Okay, that is the 9.81 for the system. Remember, we have two systems. We have the English and... Okay, SI. So now, we are dealing with what type of system? SI or uh, Imperial? Has. So now, we are dealing with Imperial. So, we must use the imperial unit of gravity, which is correct. Kwa Chi Peng. 32.2 feet per second squared. Okay. Ah, 32.2 32 only. Kwa. Okay. So, now we try to solve 62.4 divided with 32. Point two, we got here 1.938. So the unit is LB is a pound, LB. FT, the power of 3 over FT, the power of 4. Alright. And then second squared, we move upward. Okay, S squared. So that is the unit of... Uh, okay, that is the unit of the density, right? So now, I can, I want to change the unit of pound second squared over feet the power of 4 in terms of slug, okay? 
Do you know what is slug? Slug for what? Dimension. What's the dimension of slug? Okay. Dimension for slug is? Aha. Uh -huh. What's the dimension of slug? Are you sure, Wick? A mess. Okay. The slug. Okay. Is slug. So what's the unit of slug? Okay. The unit of slug is? Do you still remember? LB. Second squared over feet. So, from here, I want to change in terms of slug. So, just multiply with 1 slug divide with LB second squared over feet. So, try to simplify. You can see here, LBS squared cancel with LBS squared feet. Okay, cancel with FT, the power of 3. Okay, so now we have the final answer is 1.938 slug. This is unit conversion over FT, the power of 3. Okay, everyone so far understand, yeah? Do you have any question? So far clear? How to get the density of water? Okay, thank you. Alright, now we go to the second question. Specific um, weight. Okay, specific weight and density of mercury. This is for mercury, not the water. So if we refer to the mercury, we must use the second one, which is this one. Okay. So from here, step number three, specific gravity of mercury. Okay, so what's the formula of specific gravity? We have the density of mercury, okay, over with density of, density of water. Okay, let's say this is W, okay, density of water. All right. So, in order to get the density of mercury, we have to multiply with specific gravity of mercury, multiply with specific gravity, sorry, with the density of water. So, specific gravity of mercury is given 13.56, multiply with the density of water, which is this one. Okay, 1.938. Okay, slug per feet cube. So the final answer should be 26.3 slug per feet cube. Okay. So now we have solved for the density of mercury. How to get the specific weight? Okay, remember specific weight for gamma. Okay, we go to step number four. Okay, formula again. Specific gravity of mercury is equal to gamma of mercury over gamma of water. In order to get the gamma of mercury, specific gravity of mercury must multiply with gamma of water. So, specific gravity of mercury is given 13.56. Multiply with the gamma of water, which is this one. Right? So, 62 point. Okay, 62.4. Put the unit. Okay, LB. Pound. Per feet. Okay. Cube. So, the final answer should be 846. Pound per cubic. Okay. Therefore, that is the final answer. Okay, so far clear, everyone, the class? Okay, thank you, Aisha. Okay. Thank you. Yes.
Uh, can we use um can we use a specific weight punya formula yang specific weight mercury equal to density mercury times dengan gap uh, g? Okay, uh, specific weight gamma eh? gamma of mercury equal to rho to rho mercury times uh, g times g. Okay, boleh? No problem. Boleh. Ah Tapi, yes. Ah uh, uh, kan sekarang kan kita kan pakai slug apa? Eh, pakai uh, Density kan is in term of slug over feet square kan? Kena tukar ke? Ke tak payah? Density tu in terms of mercury kan? Ada kan? Okay, 26. Point Maksud... 3 slug ha. second square per feet cube. Okay, and then multiply with gravity. Gravity is 32. Point 2 uh, feet. Oh, okay. so oh, so gravity tu lah kena tukar kepada feet. Ah, uh, ataupun uh, you can uh, change for this one. Slug ni tak boleh soft, okay? You must change in term of uh, in term of second lb second ni. Or you can use directly this one, boleh tak? Oh, right, faham. Hmm. Kalau you directly guna slug, jawapannya salah. <laughs> okay. Clear? Banyak alternatif lah. Basically, there are lots of alternatif lah you can use. Okay. Right, thank you, Doctor. Okay, welcome. Okay, anything? Okay. Alright. Let's proceed on the next one. Okay. If a certain gasoline weight, okay, you can see here. If, okay, we go example four. If a certain gasoline weight, 43 pound per feet cubic, what are the value of its density? That specific volume and the specific gravity relative to the water. That means water is our reference now. Okay. So, it is given here. 43 LB per feet cube. This is what? This is what? 43 pound per feet cube. This is referred to what kind of dimension or what kind of uh, fluid property? Do you still remember this unit? Pound per feet cubic? Refer to which one? Refer to, right? Which one? Density. Okay, this is not density. Specific volume. This is refer to specific weight. Now you can see this one weight. Gamma. Okay. The gamma of gasoline. So it is given now. The gamma of gasoline is given. So now the question asks, from this gamma of gasoline, you need to find density specific volume and specific gravity based on this water as a reference okay this is unit imperial so that means the first step you have list out this is step number one list out all the parameter given which is only one lah and then step number two okay from this gamma gamma of gasoline you can Formulate the equation. Okay. Gamma equal to rho of gasoline multiplied with gravity. Okay. So in order to get the density again. Density of, gra of gasoline is equal to gamma of gasoline divided with gravity. So gamma of gasoline given 43 pound per feet cubic. Over gravity 32.2 feet per second squared. And then you will get the answer here should be 1.335. Okay, you will get 1.335 LB second squared per feet the power of 4. Okay, so now. The density I want to change in terms of slug. Remember, multiply with one slug. 
divide with sorry divide with lb second squared over with feet okay and then you can cancel lb second squared lb second squared ft with the power of 4 become 3 and finally the answer is the same thing 1.335 but this is the nice one lah you can see the shortest version slug ada s ya okay over with fit cube okay that is the final answer easy tak everyone okay we go to step number two is number three Okay, after we have discovered the density of gasoline, now we need to find the specific volume. Okay, what is the symbol of specific volume? Okay, symbol of specific volume is small v. Okay, which is 1 over density. Ah. 1 over density. So, 1 over the density of what? The density of gasoline. We have discovered which is 1.335 slug squared per feet. Sorry, not squared. Slug only. Slug per feet cube. So the answer shall be 0 0.7488 feet cube over slug. All right. So the next one, find the specific gravity. So step number four, specific gravity, which is, okay. So now we can see we are given the density. So better use density. Density. Okay, you can use also gamma. Okay, I use the density, density of gasoline. Okay, this is specific gravity of gasoline over density of water. Okay, so what is the density of gasoline? It is 1.335. Lux, okay, over feet cube, divide with density of water. It is, it, is it given? It is not given, but the given one is temperature. Why the temperature is given? Because the density is affected by temperature. So from this table, table B1, under property of water, Look at the temperature, 60 Fahrenheit. So this is Fahrenheit. Go to 60. And this is the, the, the density, which is 1.94 slug per feet cubic. So just substitute in this equation. 1.94 slug per feet cubic. Make sure the unit is the same, yeah? Slug, slug we cancel. And then we will got here 0 0.6889. Therefore, that is the final answer. Okay, everyone. Clear so far? Okay. All right. Let's now proceed with the next next section okay now we go to the property of fluid after you have uh, gone through the basic one now we continue on a little bit advanced okay which is the ideal gas law okay i believe you have learned before the ideal gas law during your matriculation during your diploma or stpm it is basic thing okay so here, what is ideal gas law? Okay, ideal gas law basically any equation. Okay, it can be any equation. 
that relates to relates to the pressure temperature and density okay or specific volume okay of a substance sorry of a substance of a substance is called an equation of state okay so the simple the simplest okay and the best known that we already known before equation of state is ideal gas law equation okay so pv equal to rt so p is pressure v is specific volume r is gas constant and t is temperature or p equal to rho rt or you can say pv equal to mrt okay May I know, uh, previously you learned the first one, the second one, or the third one during your last uh, study? Or you learned both? You learned number three. Ah, okay, Lee Jong, you, using PV equal to NRT. Okay. So what else do you, do you still learn? Okay, N. Okay, good. All right, the third one. Or you haven't learned before. PV equal to NRT. Okay, what is N? Lim Wen Chin. What is N? What N refer to? Okay. Okay. So from here, okay, where P is a pressure, I believe all of you know here. Okay, uh, V, the small V is a specific volume or okay, or one over density, and then we have R which is the gas constant. Gas constant, you can refer to any sources. It is the same. And T refer to absolute, yeah? Absolute temperature. Okay, which is Kelvin or Rankine. All right. Or Kelvin. So please bear in mind that for the gas constant which is r okay r is equal to the average r over molecular mass okay so this r average is basically okay basically 8.314 kilojoule per kilomole Kelvin, okay? And then in terms of imperial or English unit, the R for English unit is 1.986 BTU per LB mol, okay, ranking. All right. 
And M here is molecular weak of gas. Okay. So next we learn about temperature. This is quite easy. For the temperature one, you need to do the conversion. All right. Remember the SI unit for the absolute temperature is Kelvin. For the English is ranking scale. Okay. So here, the temperature is T in terms of Kelvin. If you want to convert to the Kelvin from the Celsius, you must plus 273.15. Okay. Or the same thing from the rank kind. Okay. You must divide with 1.8. Okay. If you want to convert from other unit to temperature in terms of rank kind, which is temperature from the Fahrenheit, you must plus. 459.67 equal to 1.8 from temperature of Kelvin. Okay, this is another one lah. Okay. So far, do you have any question, everyone? Let's look at the temperature conversion. Okay, this one. 1.8 times 20, so times. 1.8 times a temperature for Kelvin one, if you want to convert from rank. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Okay. So, now we proceed on viscosity. Uh, what is viscosity? Uh, you can see the answer here. Measure the fluid resistant to shear or angular deformation. That mean previous class we learn about the, um, we learn about fluid, okay? What is fluid? Fluid is something a substance that continuously deform. So, even though when we give the stress, the fluid will continuously deform, but there is another force will restrain from any kind of deformation. So. That is what we call a viscosity. Okay, for example, in solid, we try to push the solid harder. However, be because of viscosity, it will restrict the restrict the uh, resistance. Okay, to any shear or angular deformation. So viscosity is referred to resistance to flow. Okay, motor oil has high viscosity. Okay, and resistant to shear. Ammonia has low viscosity. That means ammonia easily to have deformation. Okay, as temperature increase, viscosity for all fluid decrease. Remember that when the temperature increase, okay, temperature increase, the viscosity, okay, the viscosity. Okay, of fluid will decrease. However, viscosity of gases will increase. Okay, that is the common nature. Okay. All right, now let's take a look about this one. Okay, please focus here. After this, we're going to have... Uh, the activity and then we're going to have the breakout session okay if for example if we have the force okay if we have the flow between the plates okay let's say we have the plate here we have the top plate and then we have the bottom plate and then this bottom plate is fixed. However, at the top plate, it is moving. All right, it is moving at velocity u. Okay, 
So the fluid between the plate, we have the fluid here. The fluid between plate. For example, imagine it is water. Okay, we have water lah, let's say. So this is distant from here, from the bottom to the top is Y. Okay, we, we call it as a capital lah, yeah. Capital Y. So when we, we when we push the top plate with uh, velocity U, what happened to the to the flow? Definitely we're gonna have this kind of flow. Okay. Okay, the water will flow like this. Okay. So that means the top one. Okay, the top reaching the top of the plate, the water move faster compared to the bottom one. Do you know the reason why the bottom one have low base, have low velocity? Any reason or any justification? Class, what do you think? Pressure is high. Okay, not uh, not acute, not really accurate. Uh, that is not related to pressure. Because, okay, it is related to the, the sticky of the water, okay, the viscosity of the water. You know that the water at the bottom will stick to the plate. It is not moving. Far, far away from the bottom, okay, the, the water will move slowly, slowly and follow the top one, okay. So that is why moving of this plate will move the water together okay this is the common explanation lah, the simple one right so this one you can see here this one we call it as a velocity profile uh, we have the profile so the water also have the profile okay we call it as a velocity profile okay Plate at the bottom, you can see plate at the bottom is stationary. Top plate move with velocity u. A distant y is between the plate. Plate fill the space between, in between. Okay, F force cause the velocity. Okay, at boundary, particle fluid, particle of fluid stick to the wall. As I, as I explained before. Velocity are zero relative to the wall. That means the velocity here. Okay, velocity here is zero. The very minimum velocity. And this velocity is maximum or minimum? Definitely maximum. Okay. So, fluid velocity U is maximum. You can see here. Where in contact with the upper plate. While U equal to zero where the contact with the lower plate. Another case, for example, if we have the, the plate here. For example, we have the bottom plate. Okay, this bottom plate is fixed. And then we have the top plate. Okay, the top plate is moving with U. And we have the distance, which is y. What happened when the fluid here, okay, fluid between the plate is moving. Okay, we have the net flow. The fluid here is moving. Okay, we have the fluid here moving. What do you think of velocity profile? Previously, the fluid is static, but the plate is moving. However, both are moving. Okay, previously like this. What do you think? What is your imagination? What do you think? What the shape? The new shape? Anyone? Parabolic curve. Correct. The new shape will be like this. The parabolic. Curve. Okay. Uh, 
All right. So now, with the motion of top plate and the grid motion, we have, we call this as a new velocity profile. All right. Okay, next we go into the equation. Okay, since we know the velocity profile, okay, we know about the, the viscosity that resists the flow, okay. For linear case, for your case now, you are referring to linear case. Okay, so now you are referring to the Okay, flow at mid is the lowest. Okay, which at the middle? Okay, it is still lowest here. At the bottom, and then the maximum will be here. Okay. So for linear case, which is linear? This is linear. Okay, now you are referred to this one, linear case, yeah? For the linear case, sharing stress, okay, this is symbol of tau between any two thin sheets of fluid is found using this equation. Okay, this is shear stress tau equal to force over area. Do you think force over area can be pressure as well, right? Okay, so pressure in terms of shearing stress, it is another name of pressure, okay? We call it as a shearing stress tau. Okay, so do you know what's the difference between pressure and shear stress? Ha, before we start further, what's the difference between the tau and the pressure? The different tau, also force over area, versus pressure, also force over area. What's the difference? Why in the fluid mechanic introduce second one, tau? What's the difference? Hmm. Direction? Yes, correct. Direction. Okay. For the shear stress, for example, this is tau. Okay. This is the plate. Okay. The shear stress is the this direction, which is uh, parallel to the plate. However, for the force, okay, for the for the pressure, it is perpendicular. Okay. Pressure. Okay, clear. Ah, uh, semua pandai, don't worry. Pressure either perpendicular, uh, out of the out of the plate or into the plate. Must be perpendicular, ninety degree. For the shear stress, must be parallel. Ah, pandai, limb, good. Normal to the plate. Okay, good. So now we are looking for the shear stress, shearing stress. Alright. So, shearing stress is equal to force. Okay, for example, this is force. Okay. We need to find the force. Okay, over area. This is the area. Okay. So now, let's take a look about this. Force over area. Okay. Another equation will be, okay, dynamic viscosity. Okay, multiply with velocity U over capital Y. Or dynamic viscosity DU over DY. This is called the Newton equation of Newton equation of viscosity. Okay, U here, okay, this is dynamic viscosity, is a constant. 
of proportional. Okay, that refer to viscosity. So the unit here, the unit of Okay, the unit of here refer to Newton second over meter squared. Okay, or in the imperial unit, which is pound second over feet squared. Okay, remember that viscosity, we have two category, two type of viscosity. We have kinematic viscosity. Okay, we have kinematic viscosity or we call it as the absolute, okay, sorry, kinematic viscosity is equal to absolute or dynamic viscosity Divide with the density. Alright. So basically, this is also new. Nu. Okay, we call it as a nu. The symbol is quite different. Okay, this is nu equal to. Okay, dynamic viscosity. This can be two, yeah. You can call absolute viscosity or dynamic viscosity the same thing. Absolute, the same with dynamic. Don't confuse. Okay, dynamic viscosity or absolute viscosity divide with the density. Okay, so the unit here is feet squared over second or meter squared per second. Okay, finally, the here, dynamic viscosity does, doesn't get affected by pressure. Okay, why doesn't get affected by pressure? Okay, most pressure. Because dynamic viscosity, we don't have any relation ship with the density. The density is relies on the pressure. You change the pressure will change the density. Okay, for example, this is cubic. Okay, with the density. You try to push with your pressure. Push. What happened to the density? Is it increasing or decreasing? Ah, uh, what happened? The density, if you try to push, density is a function of mass over volume. You try to push this cube, this cube will, will decrease. Okay, decrease the volume, so will increase the density. Okay, correct. Ah, uh, so. You, uh, this dynamic viscosity doesn't get affected by pressure. Okay, you can see pressure. However, for the new of gases, this is kinematic. Of course, strongly, very strong, yeah? Strongly vary. Depending on pressure. Because of density okay all right finally after that okay after that we go the quiz okay finally Renault number Renault number Renault number Okay, Renault number is a parameter that correlate, okay, that have a relationship 
correlate viscous correlate viscous behavior of fluid. Okay, when we deal with the viscosity, we have we have uh, we have the parameter which is very famous yeah Renault number. If you learn the fluid mechanic later on, you will know that Renault number is very famous to know the viscous behavior of the fluid. Okay, also can be used to determine the determine the flow whether it is lamina or turbulent. Okay, lamina. If you don't know, please look at the Google. What is lamina and turbulent? Okay. You will know later on. Because next section, we're going to learn about lamina. Okay. So basically, the equation of Renault number is Renault number is a dimensionless parameter equal to rho VL over mu. Okay, or VL over nu. Okay, this is equation. Alright, now we have covered all the fluid property. Let's have some quiz. Okay, let's have a quiz. Okay, now let's go to www.menti. Dot com for those get the highest score will be the winner. Okay, let me unshare this one. Okay, let me share the next screen. Okay. Okay, now go to go to www.menti.com and, and enter the code 5069-6681 or you can use the chat here. I give you the link. You you can click the link there. Okay, please faster join the session now. For those the winner will be uh I will add the mark, okay, for the point. We have 49, we have 50, 51. Okay, join now. Okay, faster, faster. Please be ready. The faster will get more points, yeah? As well as more mark. Uh, if you get the right answer, you get mark. The faster also will get the point. Okay. We have 50, 56 now. Alright, now let's proceed. Be ready, sir. Yeah? Answer fast to get more point. Okay, any equation that relates to is called equation of state. Okay. Yes, 17 got right for pressure, temperature and specific volume. That means remember that any equation that relates to the pressure, temperature or density or specific volume is the equation of state. Okay? Please don't don't choose mass volume as viscosity. Yeah, please. Okay, next. Okay, who is the faster one? 
All right. Congratulations, YY. Okay, next. Okay, we have Kod Kodil Kodai. Ah, Kid Kaying, the top, the top ten. Shafiq. We have Lee BQ, Barefoot. Ah, Contessa, Yani, Lim Zuan, Aishi, Kari. Ah, YY. Next, let's see who will be the next, the top. Okay, I'm so fast to get more points. Ideal guess law is five, four, three, two. Wine. Okay. Okay. Most of you choose wine. PV equal to RT. There is another correct wine. P equal to density RT as well. Okay. It seems that one of you choose PV PM equal to BRT. Okay. Who will be the highest score? Okay. All right. Still the YY. Okay, good. Still YY is the faster one, yeah? Okay, I don't know how, how you managed to get the, the top one. Okay, Kari. Barefoot. Uh, Irfan, please move move up. Conversion of temperature in Kelvin is okay. Three, two, one. Kelvin, guys. Okay. Yes. The answer is this. Celsius plus 273.15 or in rank kind over 1.8. Okay. Who will be the top score? Okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> oh, Kari and YY. Okay. Shafi, Lim Zuan Han, you Lim. Okay, this leaderboard only show, shows you 10, okay? If you move, if you get score, you will move upward. Okay, the second last. Please be ready. Viscosity is what? Okay, guys, 14. Okay, viscosity is? Maybe you have two answers, three answers. Three, two, one. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Many of you, half of you choose resistance of specific weight. Uh, it is not resistance of specific weight of fluid. It is only one fluid resistance measurement. Okay, who is the top one? Okay. It seems that Yani. Oh, Yani number three. Yani the faster one. Okay, good. Why why still number one, yeah? Okay, Eugene. Okay, top ten. Okay, good. Okay, finally, who will be the lucky winner? Next. Last question. Okay. Temperature increase and viscosity. All right. Remember, fluid, fluid viscosity decrease. The gas viscosity increase. Who is the final? Let's see. 
Okay. Who is the fastest and the winner? <laughs> okay. Congratulations, why why? <laughs> Okay, congratulations, YY. Who is YY? Please introduce yourself and please tell us your strategy. What you have done? You study before the class or you focus more on the class? YY, please. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yeah. Ying, okay, please introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Ah, huh? congratulate Yi Ying. Ha, huh? in the in the chat. Okay, ha. Huh? <laughs> okay, please. Ah, uh, give me your full name and the metric as well as your section. I want to add in the score, final score. Your full name, the winner here. I want to know. Okay, we will collect all the winner, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. The winner here is. Winner here is Ye. In Y and G section. Okay, section 15. Okay. A20. Okay, I think uh, advice from Ashraf is very quite good. Lah. Okay, the same two winners, the same strategy. Eight zero. <laughs> okay, good. So far, good. Okay, now everyone, let have, let's have the activity. This is so fun. Okay, for now, I want all of you to participate. Okay, uh, I want all of you to participate. So now, please go to Jamboard. Okay, let me share you the Jamboard activity. Okay, now go to Jamboard. Do you see the Jamboard, everyone? Okay, now go to Jamboard. Please, uh, let me share the link again, yeah, I believe. Okay. Okay, let me share you the link. Please click the link here. Go to the Jamboard. Okay. Okay, everyone. Have you uh, joined the Jamboard? Okay, in page number two, can you see the grouping? Okay, in page number two, can you, can you see the grouping? Please respond, someone. Yes, okay, please go to Jamboard now. Okay, I have, uh, I will create, uh, don't move here. Yeah? <laughs> don't, uh, don't move, just see only. 
Uh, first, look at your grouping. Okay, for those who haven't got your name or haven't got your grouping, please let me know. And then, okay, go to your own dedicated dedicated page. Okay, you go to ne the next page, group 1, group 2. Okay, next, group 6, uh, group 3, until group 11. Dah, <laughs> awak, dah, <laughs> awak dah register belum dalam Google Form? Dah? Okey, nama awak siapa? Daniel Haizal Izam. Tak, tak dekat sini eh? Tak Okey, Daniel, you go to group ni. Daniel eh? D-A-N-I-A-L? Haikal Izam. Se section? Uh, section 18. 18. Okey, go to group 10. Just Hmm. Saya pun Nama tak saya ada dua. Okay, uh, pilih the top one lah. Nama no... Doktor, oh, nama saya Ali Doktor. Okay, <laughs> nama awak siapa? Uh, Amirul Hakim. Okay, Amirul go to group 11. Okay, okay. Section berapa Amirul? It's not there. 11. Section 11. 18. Ya, 18. Okay, group 11. Okay, next. My Saya. name. Okay, your name please. Uh, Muhammad Syafi. Okay, Muhammad Syafi. Session 16. Muhammad Syafi Section 16. Okay, group 1. Nama saya ada M2, I2. Eh, mana? Nama, uh, nama saya Amiro tu ada M2, I2. Ni? Amirul Hakim ke? Sebab bila tak I ni, saya information macam orang boleh express ni. Okay. okay, anyone? Please go to your own group. Doktor nama dia ni. Okay, nama awak siapa? Uh, Tonesh. T-H-O T-H-O N-E Okay, T-H-O N -E N-E-S-H Section? 18 Okay, go, go to group 2 Okay From Ishihab Okay Please go to your own dedicated uh, page Doctor okay. okay My name is Shihab Shihab Okay, Shihab go to group 2, eh group 3, sorry. Okay. Ideal eh, ideal. Uh, ideal Ashraf. Okay, ideal Ashraf go to uh, 4. Oh, okay then. Alright, uh, now. Okay, this is the instruction, yeah. Sorry. Saya doktor. Okey Nazrin. Okey uh, Nazrin awak pergi ke group 5. Okey. Okey, this is the instruction. Okey. Which ya. Okay, the instruction uh, within 20 minutes, okay, you need to solve the question given. Okay, this is based on your creativity. Okay, at the end of the, at the end of, of your discussion, one volunteer will explain the solution to the class. Okay, so during the uh, discussion, I will create the break, uh, breakup room. Go to your dedicated breakup room. Okay, I will create 11 breakup room. Appoint a moderator and timekeeper to monitor the discussion within 20 minutes. Okay. So now, I create 11 uh, 11 session. Okay. 
within 20 minutes only. I set here 20 minutes only. Okay. So now you can see uh, at the bottom here, we have breakout session. So you please, please join the breakout session now and start the discussion. Appoint the moderator, appoint the timekeeper to discuss the solution and solve the solution. Okay, go to your dedicated group and have a discussion. Okay, guys, uh, class, Aisha, Shuko, Hanisa, please go to your dedicated group and have the discussion immediately. Shafiq. Okay. Oh, doctor. Yes. How to go. Okay, go to uh, at the bottom menu, you can see breakout session. Wait. At the bottom menu, breakout yeah. session. Okay, and then you can see join. Okay, choose your session session is is a group lah group one okay yeah. and then just join we and we add the bottom menu ah uh, bottom tu kat bawah tu ada main menu ada uh, ada mute start video share re, share breakout session kan oh the technical ada ke okay okay Okay, ha, lepas tu tengok pilih group yang betul ya. Ya, ni dekat, masuk doktor dekat Jamboard ke dekat dalam Webex? Dekat dalam Webex, lepas tu dalam Jamboard pun kena tengok juga, kena share the screen sama-sama. Ada pun doktor yang break up session? Uh, break up session ni, sebab, sebab pergi dekat ni. Oh, okay dah, dah jumpa dah. Okay dah. Oh, okay, dalam break up session tu boleh share screen and discuss.
Okay, Amirul Hakim, Hanisa Aznan, Iza, Song Kin Ki, please go to your dedicated room. And start the discussion. All right, uh, Song and Isa, are you still there? Yes, Doctor. Okay, please go to your ded dedicated room. Uh, Iza and Song Kin Ki, are you still there? Yes, I'm doing in paper and then later I will snap and paste inside. Uh, please uh, join the... Yeah, I've already joined. But, wait, yeah. Okay, please join the breakup session because... Uh, this is your team effort, okay? You have a discussion with your team. Okay, Henry Pu Bandi, are you are you uh, are you the one? Uh, do you have a group, Henry Pu Bandi? Are you are you? I have a group. I'm just confused on how to go to the breakout session. Okay, you go to the menu at the bottom section. Go to the menu. Uh, at the bottom section, you can see the breakout session and choose your grouping. Okay. For example, if you are section, if you are grouping one, okay. go, go to session one.
uh, song have you okay may i know what's your group yeah uh, group one i have already paste the paper i write inside okay okay but i noticed that the paper you are using the newton the newton newton unit yeah, i don't know how to convert the unit basically no need to convert you just uh, you need to solve using the imperial unit oh, okay okay may you please uh, join your group uh, i have already inside because I because you are in the main main meeting. Uh, how to join? Okay, you go to breakout at the menu bottom there. You go to the breakout session. Breakout session. Where where can I get? <laughs> okay, you go to you can see the screen right. Yeah. Go to go to the breakout session at the bottom. Breakout session. Can I just share how to join? Ah, uh, pardon. Can okay. can doctor share how to join? Okay, never mind. I move you to the session. Okay. Okay.
So how how guys? How class? Are you able to solve the question with your team together? Okay, uh let me share the screen. Okay, now we go. Can you see the screen, guys? Class? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, uh, for group one. Okay, uh, I think I want to select uh, the completed one. Okay, I see. Okay, the group one. Okay, what's, uh, how do you solve the question? Please volunteer. Okay, uh, a moderator can be volunteer. Volunt uh, moderator for group one, who is the moderator? Moderator, please quickly. Or no moderator for group one. Okay, uh, group five. Who is the moderator? Group number five. Uh, I'm not, but I can say that. I can explain to you. Okay. Group five, please explain your solution. Uh, so how I calculate this is by using the formula of F equal to viscosity times area mm -hmm. and times velocity of the top pads uh, divided by the separation of the two pads. Because in the equation it says uh, space between the two pads is one inch wide. And between the space, it, it is the uh, uh, lubricant oil, okay. and the viscosity is given mm -hmm. at, at different heights. So uh, the question says, uh, what force is required to drag a very thin plate of four feet mm -hmm. uh, square area through the oil? So it, it means that it wants to drag the top, the top, this, uh, this top part of the the first plat, uh, you want to drag the first plat at the velocity of 20 feet per meter. So what I do is I change the minutes, the velocity of the velocity feet per minute to feet per seconds. Okay. And I also change the one inch to feet so that all, all the unit is the same. Uh. SI la. Yeah, yeah. And not uh, SI. Mm. I think it's, it's not SI unit, it's Imperial. Okay, sorry, Imperial. Standard Imperial, okay. Yeah, then I times, I put I put the numbers in, into the formula and I found out the, that the force required is 0 0.1007 pounds to move the plates. Mm, okay. Okay, so I have a, okay, before I ask, Glass, do you have a question for group five? I have a question. Okay, yes, please. So uh, in the in the question, they involve uh, the velocity, which is 20 feet per meter, uh, per minute, sorry. Uh, okay. In the equation as, as well, I believe the U is the velocity. Uh, I don't see it used in the uh, solving. This one you can see? 0 0.33 feet per second. Uh, this one, this one. Oh, oh. You can use this one. Convert from feet 
per minute to feet per second and then use in this one. Oh, okay, okay. That's it. Okay, basically, okay, uh, let's see another one. Wow, number seven, quite impressive. Okay, volunteer, please, number seven. Um, hello, everyone. Oh, yes, okay. Uh, so, Doctor, uh, we need to present, like, I, I need to present this part. Okay, yes, group seven. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, please. Uh... Explain. Oh, okay, so uh, as you all can see, firstly, we uh, collect the information from the question given. So uh, we see that uh, the viscosity given is uh, 0.063. So we put out that one. And after we uh, collect all the information, we see what, what the question actually want from us. So uh, it wants us to find the force. So we know that uh, the shear stress equal to F per A, which also equal to uh, vis viscosity, uh, U. velocity uh, U per Y. Okay. okay. And okay, and we know that we need to use this equation. So mm -hmm. we check back our information and we convert the unit that is, uh, we, we convert the unit so that it would be appro appropriate. For example, mm -hmm. uh, given is one inch, so we convert it to feet, which is mm -hmm. zero point yes. zero eight three three. Yes, and correct. And then the velocity given is twenty feet per minute. Uh, mm -hmm. We convert it to per, uh, feet per second. Which yes. You can see the process uh, above this mm -hmm. one. Okay, mm -hmm. so we get zero point three three. Okay, after we already convert everything, we uh, we put uh, all the information given in the equation which you can see below, uh, we write F per 4 feet square equal to the um, viscosity, which is 0 0.0063 pound second per feet square, uh, darab, uh, darab, uh, multiply with 0 0.33 feet per second over 0 0.0833 feet. Okay. okay. And then uh, we, so, we cross whatever... Uh, unit. Uh, we, uh, we cross the unit. Okay, and then we got F per 4 equal to 0 0.02496 pound. And then we want to find the force, which is we multiply with 4 below here in this uh, denominator. And then we are going to get 0 0.0998 pound. Mm, okay, okay. Thank you, Adriana. Okay, good. Okay. But... Um, okay, group eight. Okay, uh, who is the mo moderator or volunteer for group eight? Who is the moderator for group eight? Okay, uh, hello, okay, hello. Daddy. Okay, yes. yes. Okay. Um, so, the, first of all, I collect all the information given, such as... Mm -hmm. and, and then you convert? And then convert it into feet. Okay, good. Then, um, using the formula, which is the shear formula, which is F over A equal to mu times u over y. Mm, okay. And then this. So what I found is that rather than using one inch, we only use that the given one, which is the zero point three three inch. Convert okay. it and then solve for f. Mm, okay. So yeah, that's it. Zero point three four five pound. Okay, good. Okay, first of all, I see that majority of you uh, just replicate for what I have uh, taught you before, right? Okay, uh, basically, I believe some of you draw like this. Okay, like this. First, okay, please, carefully, you need to understand the question. One inch wide space between two plates. So we have two plates. Okay, let me 
draw to you. Okay. Uh, basically, the first part you need to understand the question. Okay, it looks uh, simple, but you need to answer. You need to basically uh, figure it out and and understand. Okay, for example, this one. First, okay, please carefully uh, listen carefully. Yeah, okay, you need to understand the question. This is one inch space between two plates. So that means you have two plates. All right. Top and bottom. And then, okay, this is the oil. What force require to drag a thin? You can see a thin plate. So that means we have another plate. Okay, let's see. We have another plate. So let's say this is the plate. Okay, let's say this is a very thin plate. Very thin plate. So the question asks, what force is required to drag a thin plate, not the top or bottom plate? Ha, okay. After you have you have draw this one, then you will understand. All right. So from here, this is, we have three plate. That means the force to move the thin plate with the velocity here, U equal to 20 feet per minute. Okay, this thin plate, okay, have four feet squared area, which is, this is the area. Equal to 4 feet squared. Alright. And then we have. If the plate is 0 0.33. Okay. This is inch. So that means from here. From one surface. Let's say this is from here 0 0.33. 0 0.3. 0 0.3 3 inch and the total here is 1 1 inch okay the total is 1 inch so of course the balance here will be 0 0.67 inch and of course, when this is moving, all right, the thin plate is moving. There will be the the shear stress counter the. Okay, let me draw using different color. There will be the shear stress resist the flow, which is in this direction. How many shear stress? We have two shear stress: the top and the bottom shear stress. Okay. So from here, okay, after you have draw here, let's formulate the equation. Okay, we know already tau equal to shear stress equal to force over area or dynamic viscosity U over Y. So from here, we have tau 1 and we have tau 2. You need to find both tau. Okay, my screen freeze or not now? Okay, right. Everyone, my screen okay so far? Okay, so you need to find tau 1 and tau 2. So let's start with tau 1 equal to okay, dynamic viscosity U over Y. Okay, so from here, Dynamic viscosity of, of oil here, it is given or not? Yes, it is given, which is 0 0.0063. Okay, the unit will be second per feet. Okay, squared. Multiply with, this is U. What is the velocity of the plate? 20. Okay, feet per 
minute. So here, we need to convert a minute into second. So one minute divide with 16 second over with y. What is the what is the value of y for tau 1? 0 0.67 or 0 0.33? Please respond. 0 0.33 or 0. Point, okay. 0 0.33. Okay. 0 0.33. Okay. Inch. So from inch, you need to use the feet or foot. One, one foot over 12 inch. Okay. Do the conversion. Right, minute cancel with minute, inch cancel with inch, okay, and then that's it. Okay, we can solve here. The final answer is okay, let's say here lah, 0 0.0763 pound per feet squared. All right, now we need to find for tau number two, okay. So tau to the same thing, 0 0.0063 lb second over feet squared. Multiply with velocity 20 feet per minute. Convert into second, 1 minute equal to 16 second. Divide with, uh, this is different. In term of y is 0 0.67 inch okay we need to use the foot one foot over 12 inch okay you try to solve the answer is 0 0.0394 pound per feet squared okay so from here let me continue here lah right we know already Tau 1 equal to force over area. Or tau 2 equal to force 2 over area. So let's convert tau into force. So force 1 equal to tau 1 area. Tau 1 is 0 0.0763 lb per feet squared. Multiply with area which is 4 feet squared. Then the answer is 0 0.305 lb. How about the force 2, which is tau number 2, multiply with area, which is this one, 0 0.0394 lb per feet squared, multiply, multiply with 4. Okay, so the answer here is 0 0.1. 8 pound. So in order to get the total force, which is combination of force 1 plus force 2. So total up, you will get 0 0.463 pound. Right? So that is the final answer. So far clear, everyone? Okay, uh, I think before we end our our class, I would like to introduce you the last one, lah, vapor pressure. And then we close, okay? Vapor pressure consider a closed container in a pit. So evaporation start causing a vapor to be trapped above the liquid surface. Vapor exert a pressure on the surface of liquid. Okay, this is what is a vapor pressure. For example, you have the container. Okay, you have a container, for example. Alright, and then the container is full of water. Okay. And then, uh, and then because of the heat surrounding, alright, the particle of water will evaporate. Will come upward. Will evaporate. Okay. Because of evaporation becomes saturated, this uh, vapor will exert back the pressure. Okay, will exert back the pressure to the liquid surface. 
that is what we call a vapor pressure. Okay, so far everything clear? It is quite simple, right? Vapor pressure. Okay, that is the vapor from the gas exit to the liquid surface. That is what we call a vapor pressure. Remember, pressure is perpendicular. Alright, so uh, I think that's all for our class. Okay, thank you so much for your time and participation during the breakout session. Okay, after this, I'm gonna post. Uh, I'm gonna post the assignment, lah, assignment as well as video recording and the lecture note, the fill up lecture note. Okay, please study and uh, understand the next class uh, subtopic. Alright. So I end my session, I end my class with Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good luck all the best. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dr.